Welcome to the homework for lesson 12. This is grade 3, module 2. Write your name here first. And for our first uh, question, we have to complete this chart. Choose objects and use a ruler or meter stick to complete the last two on your own. Uh, so we're looking at the length of a desk and somebody's measured a desk for us. It's 66 centimeters. And this is in between which two tens. And I'm sure you probably know this already, but tens are the numbers that we say when we count by tens. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and so on. Those are all, we call those tens. So, and as you know now, since you've been doing multiplication, they're multiples of ten. So 66 is in between, you know, on the lower than 66 would be, on the low end it would be 60, and on the high end it would be 70 centimeters. And to the nearest 10 centimeters, the nearest one, 66, is closer to 70 than 60, because it's only 4 away from 70, but it's 6 away from 60, so it's 70 centimeters. The width of a desk... So like the, maybe it's a square desk, the long side is 66 and the shorter side is 48. And 48 would be in between the 40 and 50, and 8 is closer, 48 is closer to 50, so it's 50 centimeters. The width of a door, so we're not talking about how tall the door is, but just how far across it is, how wide it is. 81 centimeters and 81 81 is in between 80 and 90 those are the two tens that brace it and uh, it's close 81 is only one away from 80 so it's closest to 80 than it, than, uh, than it is from 90 so it's going to be 80 centimeters and then here's two things for you to measure uh, just uh, one thing to mention that if you get something that's uh, got like say 25 centimeters something that ends in a that has five ones uh, then you're going to round up if it's exactly in the middle between two tens if it's a five right in the middle between two tens then you're going to round up when you have that uh, that didn't come up in the first three examples here but it might for whatever you measure number two Gym class ends at 10.27 a.m. Round the time to the nearest 10 minutes. So this right here is 27. And that's going to be in between 30 minutes after and 20 minutes after. And 27 is only 3 away from 30, but 7 away from 20. So it ends at about 10.30 a.m. Measure the liquid in the beaker to the nearest 10 milliliters. This is a picture of a beaker. It's like a glass cup, sort of. And uh, it's got markings on here to tell you how far up the liquid is. And to the nearest 10, while well, it's in between the 20 and the 30, you can see the level here, but it's closer to the 20, so we're going to say it's about 20. 20 milliliters in the beaker. Mrs. Santos's weight is shown on this scale. So here's the dial of the scale in kilograms. Round her weight to the nearest 10. So here we have markings at 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. This one is marked in tens. And this would be, starts at zero, but it ends, when you come back around, it's going to end at 60. So this is in between the 50 and what would be 60, but it's a lot closer to the 50. So her weight, we're going to say, we're rounding her weight. Uh, her weight is, okay, this is the exactly what it is. It would be 50. 51, 52, 53, it looks like 53, and so that's about 50 kilograms. 
And then we have a zookeeper weighs a chimp. Uh, round the chimp's weight to the nearest 10 kilograms. So with the scale is really kind of small here. So to help you read it, they've zoomed in on this little, this little square right here. They've kind of zoomed in here. And here's the picture of what it looks like when you zoom into that little square. It tells you where exactly where it's pointing. We're rounding to the nearest 10. So we don't have to know exactly where this is. We can see it's a lot closer to the 60 than the 50 is not even on this in this little zoomed in picture. So it's clearly closer to the 60. Uh, we do have to know exactly what the weight is. Okay, so here's 55. This would be 56. 57, 58, so that's 58 kilograms. And the chimp weighs about 60 kilograms. We'd round that up. 